got the reasoning to figure out that Marissa was under suspicion for something related to Vincent. He likely didn't know what Marissa was being accused of, but it was clearly related to her care of other children. So he decided in the moment to lie in the hopes that he could protect her from further trouble. Yeah. However, he might be less willing to protect her from trouble after he learns what she's been hiding from him. Uh, yeah. at the hotel to deal with CPS. Marissa agrees to go back to her apartment with Detective Holtz in order to demonstrate how she found Benson. If Detective Holtz can clearly see how Benson was positioned, she may be able to determine if his death was the result of an accident, SIDS, or something far more sinister. Look out yourself. It makes it a little more realistic as far as like spatial shape and things like that. What I want you to do is just like walk through exactly how you put them down. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, so I just put them here and then I bench came oh, around. So I put them in right here and we put the blue blanket on. So you, when we were at the hotel, you were talking about like his face was to the side a little bit? Yep. Can you show me exactly how his head was? I know it's his body probably. Right. Yeah. It's not gonna, right. This is yeah. completely anatomically correct, but if you could just show like how his face was. I, I realized that his body was flat. Um, and it wasn't set up like that, but it was to, was it to that side specifically? Uh, so to his edge, right? So yeah. Although Marissa's been laughing and smiling throughout this demonstration, she's likely still feeling some anxiety. If we look at her hands, we can see that they're almost closed into fists, which indicates that she's feeling tense. Most caregivers would be traumatized by having a baby die in their care. Having to reenact their last actions with the infant would likely be difficult and emotional. In stark contrast to this, Marissa appears to be completely unaffected. However, this image of her clenched hands may provide a glimpse into her inner stress. Did he have a gun? No, no. Okay. Just did he see him like in the headphones? So, so the receiving blanket like was already folded up and laid down before you came. Uh -huh. When did you, when would you have done that? Um, I think I did it, I laid him on the couch, and when you found him, exact same position, or was he different? Um, I think he was in the same position. Okay, I need you to really try hard to remember, because this is important. No. Um, could he have been in a different position? But still, was he still in the middle? Like, yeah, so he was in the middle. I think he was in the same position. Based on her frequent responses of I think so. I think it's um I think it seems like Marissa is making things up as she goes. Okay, so walk me through how you determine that he's not alive. Because I picked him up and he was really cold. How did you pick him up? 